Meantime, the yellow police tape that has surrounded the Topps grocery store on Jefferson Avenue will soon be coming down as FBI agents finish collecting evidence at the crime scene. Forensic teams have been sweeping this scene for almost a week now after 10 people were gunned down while out grabbing groceries. So the question now, what's next? Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And I'm Michael Wooten in for Scott Levin. We begin with team coverage tonight. Channel 2's Ron Plants was in court today as families and friends of the victims got their first look at the suspected gunman. But we start tonight with Channel 2's Dave McKinley live outside the top supermarket with what went into that investigation and when the store could reopen. Dave? Well, good evening, Michael. We expected it by now. Jefferson Avenue, though, still not, not quite yet ready to open for traffic. Should be soon. This more than five full days after it was shut down for a tragedy, which is something that happened here that no one will forget. But this is seen by law enforcement, at least, as a as a symbolic step forward, if you will. So along with the sophisticated equipment brought in from around the country, the FBI also imported several members of its evidence response teams, CSIs from several other states who've completed their evidence collecting tasks so that tops can begin theirs. It was a large crime scene encompassing tens of thousands of square feet, both inside and outside of the store a supermarket with a lot of shelves and aisles providing lots of places where evidence such as bullets and fragments which needed to be collected might be laying. They're very powerful. They can penetrate walls. They can penetrate shelving units. They can penetrate, uh, you know, groceries that are on the store, uh, on the store shelves. Um, so all of that has to be addressed uh, by the tops, uh, tops company before they can reopen. Um, they ricochet off, off of who knows what, and all of that has to be repaired before you can reopen a store. We want to make sure when we reopen, we are bringing a uh, best-in-class supermarket, so that will take a little time to make sure that we're bringing the right amenities, uh, the right look, uh, and make sure we have input from our associates and the community. Um, but I commit to you that we will do it as soon as we possibly can. So as far as when that might be, he could not say because Tops had yet to be able to get inside for a thorough look around inside the store. Although the traffic should be reopening here sometime this evening, we would uh, tell people that the parking lot at the Tops uh, will remain off limits to the public. Already you can see that a crew has come in and erected a fence around it. Even though the police have left after collecting evidence, now construction crews must come in and make the needed repairs and improvements here that Top wa Tops wants to make rather before uh, these fences will come down. And of course, they've talked about a permanent memorial to the victims of this tragic and senseless shooting. Uh, they do say, however, that's going to require a lot of community input. So that's a ways away from happening. But they did pledge today that, yes, that too will happen someday. Reporting live on Jefferson Avenue, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.